All right, welcome to Marawa Moments. Uh, a big, big day indeed as far as uh, football is concerned right around in the entire country. What a platform. We're back again. We're live. And, of course, we are interactive. Looking forward to all of the conversations that will be happening online. We are going to be taking it. It's going to be a direct conversation, and we're not going to be messing around. Whatever's happened over the weekend, we do want you to interact because either your team would have lost the league championship by two points in 16 minutes or you'd have been leading for most of the season and then lost it right at the end. Whichever one it might be. Maybe you're a Black Leopards fan and you're thinking that, hey, a full Toyando Stadium, every single home game, and next season you're going to be playing in a lower division. What on earth has happened right now? Of course, I'm not going to be alone. We've got some bumper, bumper guests today. We're going to be going across to Scotland uh, where we'll join Benny McCarthy. He'll be our guest as well. Uh, we'll chat to him via Zoom and, of course, down in Cape Town. Uh, he is already there. That's a coach, uh, Gavin. And remember, a team that is 99 years old has had to say goodbye, sold, boom, gone. They're not going to be in the Premier Soccer League in the Premiership next season. And remember, we can't even say a sponsor name because even the league itself has got no sponsor name as yet. So a lot of holes that we can plug, but you know what? It is your show. Keep it pumping. Why? Because we've got somebody who's made more headlines, who's been in the news more than anybody else, but he's retired years ago. I think he retired. Hmm. When did you retire, by the way? Ah, mani anga retire. Anga retire. Yeah, of a professional football anga retire, but definitely I'm busy as in his end. But been given a platform, I am some nandi ka kuli podi se se right ka kuli. Nom nom ya sha, your um nom anga retire ngit. Mara joba ngi sho, give me football in a chai culture. I'm from Davidson. Davidson ilang ijenge Brazil. Ipodi ame right, I'm no longer obvious. Na minya anga ngasa kasi. Nipo inezin zin teng zin za obvious ngi limiti le. Ngi parent manje. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, there you heard it. Uh, Junior Kanye, <coughs> he's going to be alongside right here uh, for the entire duration of the show. Uh, throw any question that you want. He called it. He said Kaiser Chiefs are not going to be winning the premiership this season. A lot of people said, why, this guy is, is taking chances. Why, this guy is looking for attention. This guy is bitter. Hey, bitter. How can he be bitter when he's spitting out the truth? Why do you believe that Chiefs are not going to win? Yeah, uh, first of all, Khutmani, uh, Thank for a platform, good thing, could make this thing sure. open. Yeah, and young I born in Kaza cheese, and he showed this thing last day, it was October. I think they battled about uh, seven games, they won seven, seven in se they won seven, battled seven. And begin to the battle. The way we are playing now determine your future. A mina, and figures and things are Farukan, coach Farukan. Very knowledgeable. Uh, I think it comes from Utet Dimitro, a band of people who philosophy, Kalaba Kalang culture. They bring e e e structure, physical culture, and then they bring philosophy and the individual brilliant. Right. So, in uh, 2000, at the young age, being in school, I think I was uh, 14 years playing go reserve side. Ufaruk wa figure la pwang khaze la watimfana giti. Listen, uh, ben tando trblan. Mm. Remember, they pointed abo mashuru penet mechama kulu. Just check the one who brought you job, which right. is no scabby. Uh, Wang let's all up offer Wang Jen with a lag, then thing he won a marmine from we police and vanagate. You understand? So a Faru Giti because Chela every day with Yena, it's him. Yaki only with Alagas. A shell is under a Moba Betty Tamani because Chel with Mina and the Langa Manja. Give my results doesn't matter. I need you guys. Names a peak in football individual. The team they need to look at about fun about the culture. History tells everything. Name of Farouk. Remember, we were in the school of excellence. We were in the academy in South Africa because of Teddy Mitro and Farouk. About Kevin Johnson, Sembat. The band to the band job and show them figure of Farouk. Man, train. First, I'm a coach. I believe good player. I'm in the best balance. You don't have to fall just like that. Secondly, player at this case, dribbling is not a dribbling standing show putting, creating something out of nothing, movement of the ball one touch, sure. but technique, passing game. So far, I knew who to Faruk each and every year. It's proven. Mm. Faruk won the Kaza Chiefs 2004. Mm. 
when did blast cover chief produce the superstar ngizale lapha myself ngiwe zandeni zaka Farouk right eh jabu mahlangu come from lipule ngiwe zandeni zaka Farouk ithumele ngikhune ngiwe zandeni zaka Farouk eh nhlanhla kubheka ngiwe zandeni zaka Farouk tabi so scapi i've got nothing against to other play to it at aswan but he's never produced any superstar mm. so since Farouk is gone balahli culture we knew who to Farouk Magago head of TV, but we head of development coach. The coaches that they were appointed there, they were same philosophy. And Ted Dimitri as a head coach, the Babonke school. The school is a civil economy of Stephen Pina, Rambule, Mavizela, Oche, Abu Tso Villagas, Siponunes. You understand? So, Abu Farouk Abanda, Pilvela, young, exciting players. It seemed good and Lela, one fundi so far good, not Ted, to good fun again. Last time, Penami Ben Funda, among the Belen Gala, thanks, I play, I managed to play with those two coaches. Good Kala, big name culture, Kaza Chis, Bengaz, Begune structure, big name philosophy. Each and every Bengaz, good Kunama player three. That will be promoted and they will be excited about the love of fit like it love. So being a bit different. So whatever you want to do, man. Me na ang it mong a check up it some sima na bantu bam nigi credit u niyazi coach niyazi do kuma na okay vina tingi boni. But me na credit ku super sport when the coach won the league ni ni okay u up it some sima. He has built a foundation. Foundation iba lega kuvula kuvuma. I understand the issue to Mr. Simon is proven now. Sure. Check his structure. The Suntowns Kutman have been me na good development being no guyang bugel. Kuna bo semba atalab. Abu Mandla Masibu, the Wet School of Excellence. Eh, we understand the Hopman. We should take Mr. Simon, Guna Bukabo Zon, and Kumanga technical team. Abu Rulan and Quen. Manga check it's similar philosophy called the Umbonile Go by all of them. Gugu yeah. Gugu Arrows, Umbonil Manga with Timaki, we passing game. And eh, Rulan, the Paris Wing, we could see team. Yes. Uh, young structures are going to be structured. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, Minang Timang Pega, Magamba, Ukoch, Ulo, Stuart Baxter. Yeah. Because of Chelsea winning the league, but me and I knew Guti, they will catch them. So let's structure Okulmanga. So, as in Isn't about Kulmanga, as about Farouk Khan. And when Kulman, I, in fact, Monday, Uti Chiefs, Mabel Ali Paul, they never start at the back. Yeah, bo. so already foundationally, good a problem in terms of where they start to build a player yeah, from the back. Why do you think when Uti Leo culture or Leo foundation? Yeah, but Jalba Dala because the Chiefs, Ababe Kalu Dali Pola from the back, and then they build up and they include Ama Wing play. Wong I told Leon to play our game, especially from Le Weekend. Yeah. He then told me showing it. It goes with training methods. In the prepare an IT. Mm. And you prepare a team, it doesn't come overnight. You you give yourself time. It goes on my training drills. Mm -hmm. A training, dealing, I'm really finishing, some of you and a small side to build the confidence. One on one, Minago Faruk, I knew with each and every year. I'm a bigger defender, I'm a middle field to Faruk. I'm a middle field to a pie at the limb of it, they start the ball, are comfortable. We know what he started to play with him. A goalkeeper among a check who couldn't pay a technical. If the ball come on the left, he draft it, got right, I'll cut. If come on the right, draft it, it tells you technique. Even if you go lab on the weekend, I mean, look at the group, look at the way you can, or put me in the box in, why shy straight? I mean, obviously, we have funny long balls or Tolu Nokovic. Nokovic was with drop, I get pants, and then Bawa's will cut the lane. And that was a pass, actually, long ball, yeah. 100%. Yeah. But then when who who coach with Chiefs, who made it up, 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 who I'm a colleague five power shang, I'm a set piece. Seven games. Right. They won seven. I'm a set piece. Wrong game. Mm. I'm a born good no. If all the same wins anybody's ball, I will own a good man. Sure. I leak in your win. But shang, I'm a cross. First of all, park. So I'm a born good to. I'm a colleague five in the COVID. I scored about three, four. Mm. Oganya assist. The long. Oganya diagonal or cross. Mm. He drop it or he score himself. So I'm a team of my name. I knew Guti. When I'm a coach, I'm a coach. I'm a coach. I'm a coach. A coach was a player in there. Okay. I know what he knows how to play. Yeah. Being as good go second round, he's gonna struggle. Right. Because but along in the new one. Mm. They play long, mm. or you cross. So if pound to pound, you practice the team down because it is not good with dealing with a set piece. And then they're not gonna score. Mm. So young about park with second round is gonna be a problem. Because they can't make even seven touches go off your opponent. Shot that pig and up. Big na bajal, ya bwa mafenza ya shukuti ya zin, Usman Bani is a ball player, but anim seven zis. Ichi vzilali po, labanga lazga. Yesu chojumali lagusambil. And abam 
abamtete lang utakwa deli contract ya kibisa sela ngo bakuwe okay sharp utoli precision what what okay kubenga hambe ya kona we sent down zungu msa katelele whether or not leo ndo messed up structure se chiefs or not ngege sads but when as somebody analyze ahi pole do you believe ugo tuk hamba umdo fananjanga ae umalulega Ige ya tukbali maza kanyane, structurally, o begi nabaji lalaka tese becheze penjin. Aga tebe begi nabaji lalaka as much as abaji lalaka abazo sizi chiefs uti wini kapa. Kratman, aksi ipes team ya chiefs lila apa. Some of the players they don't deserve to play for me. Okay, aga hambegi, aga hambegi abaji lalaka. We said we're going to be honest. Five, I'm putting up five fingers here. Yeah. Number one to go is who? Eh... Uh, Asbalash. Yeah. Asbalash. Number yeah. one is who? Very coach is okay. not the coach is not the case that she's uh, Nzok Chela gave you coach. Kondi and Zagila and I'll then, tell you about him. But uh, uh -huh. number one? Uh, Milan, I don't like Uting Bono Katsanda to which is the chief. Okay. Second, Aki, what is his name? Okay. Uh, uh, one. We defender, goalkeeper. Aki. Aki. Okay. Not that I mean. Yes. Center, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Defensive mm -hmm. military. Mm -hmm. And then I don't understand why Pilanism is still there. Okay. Sussman, I don't understand why he's playing for Kaza Chiefs. Okay. I don't understand him. Right. And then Bennett Parker, five. I don't understand why he's still there. Okay. Now, we can take five, but if we suffer from Kubek, Kubek. I mean, oh. for me, Mangu Sobala more than eight. I don't okay. understand. Yeah. Honestly Kubega speaking. You beg eight. I'm going to take five, but I beg eight. Yes, Castro is still there. Oh, Castro, okay. We understand. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why Ronaldo Castro is still there. There's the um um fanu jenga do goalkeeper. I mean, the keeper I understand is a good good player. Shabanti is a good goalkeeper. I mean, I'm going to think it's Bonil. Like in the game, I'm going to think it's Bonil. Like in the game, I'm going to think it's Bonil. I will have to think it's Bonil. And then um fanu vuma sepenji. That's all. Okay. Because it's similar like Kuni. But what pay given what he bego yena umjal what lime zans or was the lugia we World Cup. Africa Cup of Nations, the choice of color in Nigeria, none, none. But we are no be number one goalkeeper. Kumbu lugu tu kone before abu ya manj. Ube jale only one league game last year. Ube begu akpe right through. Ube pete ama league game. Joby Chiefs ube loku number one. So when obonanga next. It tells you, it is honest. To kone it deserves to play, Khotman. Irrespective of what. That's the best player in Kaza Chiefs in our is vocal mm -hmm. number one. Secondly, their defense. The guy Marshall and Okulum, Jobangisho, Jobangisho, vocal, umchita, their defense better being a cook with all along. But what if Magnus and Dism challenge are off the field? Yena, who could keep her number one? What if Magna my challenges are being now off the field? What if Magnus and Magna in King, I shamber, a bezem one would to Pelelis Bell, a dingy attention, your daughter, Magna in King, a beacon somewhere? That we understand. That's why. That's yeah. that we understand. Okay. Manga bu puma ngi rezi. Yeah. Marangi ngi kemi sel six manju was on the bench. Later one on the bench. Second game and then na zala zala stellin po chizo na stellin. Does right. it make sense as a coach? Mm -hmm. It's chela antin. Agat zala nga ngabu zile second na forensic plan. But now you put him on the stand. Mm -hmm. It's challenging to killing a player psychologically as a coach. Mm -hmm. In tengi boni le futi coach a kaza chizo. Aiko close na player. Ma player. Ma player zom zali la ganja. We bona ganja and leon. Obviously, in the ballet, you know, show you what the unity between our players. Nobody like we were born in some. I mean, um, these days, that thing in Roma, we kill it so much. Yeah, true. So we kill it so much. Go around, whether we put a pinch in or whatever. But we took our a comb. Yeah, we go move a comb a pinch in. A kitchen a pinch in, as if to say, as in, ni anbong ni nezi tuba nguazelu kor. Figure pinch, bem chable like fear bajal bem chable. Obviously, I should learn to buy born when we chiefs. In why in it goes. I'm going to take my own. I want to get my own. I'm going to play about that. Confident, right? We plan to go come. I believe me. I want to take very good player. Yeah, I'm going to go to surround the table. I'm going to count the level. Very good player, but the confidence is low. He can't even take a player on. It tells you. It is psychologically state. It chela ga shukuti. Sometimes it start on the bench mm -hmm. for sub players that think believe with our niggas. Kushukuti coach in a problem. Mm -hmm. And then mangu na bego kune ngapant ing chela futeni. It should in day ning job And then the player when angayo every day uzumi am program. Mm -hmm. Zuma he comes as a sub he knows when the lama different in ten games. Mm -hmm. And then you start him on the bench am program. Mm -hmm. So it tells me kushukuti coach. I believe we mm shape -hmm. a player. I believe we have another unit between him and my player. He interest in chela, in chela logo. 
Yeah. And then njobu kale gaye go coach wuti aga pume. Home thing we kids achieves. Usum taba ngilum to gangena guyo position ye chiefs gutaba u coach. Yeah, da pakrut mani in the kala gashi e coach aksi coach kaza chiefs. First, the structure is dead. Yeah. In Kaliguda Street, the structure. Okay. The structure is dead. Structure as in management Young to kid. playing from the top. Yeah. In Kaliguda, but can they go back to the drawing point? They look build in to aksi lang ilu one. They must give it a term. Uh, no pizza why we sometimes they gave him three season. First season we lose about 11, 12 games. Mm. Second season what Alu Bonu to have. Third, what Alu produce. Mm. They must reappoint Mr. Khan as the head of development coach. Right. And then they must reappoint they must appoint double the put Langalala for under 17 in Kaza Chiefs. Gube same similar mm -hmm. very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Abanta was young about Semba, Tabang about Semba Tabes, Abo Floetimbe, a eh, Muhali to be there. And uh, appoint proper scouts, knowledgeable. Bam, they will check it talented like they used to do. Mm. And the senior side, I would love Eric Chinka I mean, to take as a senior side coach, as it would And then it goes by similar structure. Mm -hmm. I believe he is by culture one. Mm -hmm. I, I think but I think you have to say that 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 you no galaxy, Lord, as a coach. Yeah, and confirm it, but you Uti utentens niya solu uti se punyu gile uti gile la klembo uyo sezana no puti lo otate over from yen. Anga tata banga tatu Kevin Johnson no Eric Tinkler it's simple. Yeah. Similar similar type of football. So tatu Kevin tatu Eric Tinkler yeah. mfagwi Keza Chiefs. And then Faruk Khan as the head of development na wuzipo yeah. the structure will be good by nige nje by nige nge nge by nige skat by nige nge 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 Okay. Interest by patient, please. Mm -hmm. And then that team will come. Mobas were telling us some of the players there, they will buy wrong players. Uzambona perform when you team the leches in Sindaga cool. Talent only la palsy enough. You need a player with a picard. You should be both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Junior is going absolutely nowhere. He's going to be with me alongside for the entire duration of the show. Uh, we'll keep checking out what's happening on social media, on Twitter. Uh, we'll check out what's happening on our YouTube comments as well. Keep them coming through uh, because you know what? It's going to go up and anti. It's going to get more and more exciting indeed. Uh, we'll be bringing some of the big hitters as far as football is concerned in this country. Yeah, you know what? I mentioned it earlier. I said 99 years in existence. They were able to win. You know, in fact, they got relegated. They came back into premiership football. And then once in premiership football and in celebration heading towards a centenary of existence, then boom, collapses. They are told that the team does not exist. And we know that player X is going to team Y and so on. But it's all about a championship winning coach. It's about a coach that has been able to win back to back to back league titles before. And then going to Vitz, making them champions as well. So... It's a bit strange that I can sit here and say that Coach Gavin Hunt, who joins us as well on Zoom, uh, is pretty much unemployed, unheard of, ever. Gavin, good evening. Hey, Rob, how's it, man? All right. I'm very mm. strong. How are you doing? Yeah, UIFQ. It was long today. It was very long there today. Yeah. <laughs> UIFQ. <laughs> is it that bad? Is it that bad? I mean, you, you've never been in a situation like this before, have you, Gavin? No, not since um, 1981 when I played. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. So since then, I mean, yeah, being, so being employed has been part and parcel of, of your journey, winning. I mean, we were talking about Black Leopards earlier on. It, it, it's sad and it's ironic as well that one of the teams that you coached and for the only and the first time they ever made it into a top eight was under your coaching was Black Leopards, and they've been relegated now. Bidvers Vitz, I can't say they've been relegated, was in the top eight. You've had to now, I don't know how you deal with this though, Gavin. How are you able to talk to the players, deal with the players, deal with you, and what lies ahead for you? Well, Rob, when, when, when the whole story broke about a couple of months ago, we were in lockdown. It was, um, it hit us, you know, it really hit us on Saturday because Saturday was when the whole thing just, you know, was we, you know, we weren't going to see each other again, and the club was just folded. Um, this, the, the, the sad part for me, Rob, is you know, I, I don't think football is going to a better place. Um, you know, you're taking away the youth development that we had mm. at Vitz, which has been the cornerstone. How many players came through the youth development at Vitz? Mm. You look at the league, and you know, you, you look at the national teams. I mean, we got so many players in the national team from the 17s, 20s, right through, and it's been like that for years even before my time, you know. 
So that's the sad part. Um, you know, there was a there was a there was a there was a football culture at a club like Vitz um, that you know it's just been thrown away. And and I you know, is there going to be a youth development at TTM? Is there going you know these type of things? And and, and that's that's the that's a real sad part about it going forward. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you know, uh, the club, the, the first team as well. You know, uh, moving away from its base, which has been there for a hundred years. You know. Unbelievable, well, though. I mean, the, the, the fact, again, Gavin, that you, you were still able to keep your head up, you're still going into match day 30, having to be positive, grinding a result, having to come from behind again uh, in your final match there. Yeah, you got a red card as well in that match. There were so many things that were starting to point towards, oh, okay, it's going to be one of those uh, finishes for you. But somehow the resolve came back. I, I can only imagine what the halftime conversation was like. Well, it's not about. I think before we went into the hotel to this bubble for the five weeks, I thought this, you know, it, it can either go two ways: <laughs> implode and just collapse, right. or we could try and stick together and, and and try and. I always said to the players, you know, you need to you need to honour football. You need to pay football the respect that it deserves, not the club, but the football. And uh, I call you know soccer gods. If you if you look after the soccer gods, uh, the, the gods will look after you. So you know they, they went in there. There was a great attitude. It was a long, long period. We know that. But that, you know, for a club that's not going to be there, the players could have said, "Ah, oh, they don't want to play." You know, we've been we're, we're moving on. And but they didn't. They stuck it. But that was the mentality we had in the team that we ingrained. I was there six years. We ingrained, and but it was there before me as well. The club had a good culture um, of of. of Tenacious players, tenacious teams, um, you know, and, and that was important. And we kept it going till the end, and that was the most important thing. I'm, I'm, I'm upset we never came. We never, we, you know, we went right up to the second last round. We lost to Black Leopards. We didn't help us, but you know, that's football. We know we should have won. We could have won the league this year easily, easily, easily. We were when we came back from Africa. We were more than two points a game, looking to make 60, 62 points easy, and um, and then obviously. All these things happened and players never came into the bubble. Give Matupa, which is our top goal scorer, you know, really signed. And so there was a lot of, but, but, but to be fair, we kept the whole thing going. That was the most important thing. And yeah. they, you know, they did very, very well. I mean, there's uh, there's so many different players you can always talk about. Akola Alexander, Ivanga, you can talk about Nange, uh, who played well. Jukamanja also came through. I mean, he provided the assist as well for the third goal against Puliwana City. So, I mean, here are, are, are talented players, even players that we had never been exposed to, who now show their faces at Bidvest Vets, but are showing their faces in a team that was not going to be lasting for much longer. Do you know what the fate of the bulk of those players is going to be, um, except for the so-called big names that have obviously been touted as going to either Pirates or Vits, I mean, Pirates or Sundowns or any of the other teams? The, the sad part about it is, you know, I mean, the old days of uh, player, club and coach is gone. It's agents control now, you know, so the agents obviously advising them where they... I've spoken to each individual player, what they should be doing, what I think they should do. But that's only from me. I mean, who they should play for, how, what type of club they should play for, what type of player they are. Just advice, you know. Um, so, listen, all of them will get clubs. They're all good enough to get clubs. That was a sad part because it's not like a team. You know, there's a lot of players that will get clubs. I mean, the young players we brought through, the seven of them, um, they were unbelievable in the camp for me. And they were all going to be part of the, the team going forward. You know, we believed in youth. We, you give, we give young players a chance. Um, I mean... The last game on Saturday, young Phillips was the man of the match from the youth, you know. He was unbelievable. So, you know, it's just a sad part that I'm not going to be with them. And um, they're exciting. They play a great brand of football, um, you know. And, and um, it's just, a, it's all pretty. It's all just gone, in, you know, in all, we're all gone in our own directions. You know, so let's no, see. I mean, absolutely. I mean, the, you talk about a Keenan Phillips, uh, just what, 20 years of age and, and really making such a, a remarkable uh, stamp of approval on so many people all around here. Uh, chatting to Gavin Hunt, former Bidvest Vets coach, uh, chatting to us as as he says now, an unemployed coach. Uh, Junior Kanye is still here with me listening to the conversation. I'll get his thoughts in just a second. Uh, but Gavin, has anybody approached you yet? Uh, because uh, I'm looking at a couple of teams uh, that could need your expertise. I just read the media, Mo, uh, Rob. So, <laughs> no, nothing's happened. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, um, we're still trying to tie up a lot of things from, from the club, um, you know, and 
but nothing has happened. No, nothing at right of yet. I think the most important thing we need, everybody needs to know when the season is going to start, and then I'm, I'm sure clubs would, if there is anything available. I mean, hopefully, you know, I don't want to be out of. Otherwise, we're going to have to look, you know, across the borders, you know, to try and get something, you know. Sure. Well, but given, again, your pedigree, I mentioned to Junior that a coach that's able to win uh, three PSL titles, championships back to back to back uh, with one team and also coming across to Bitvers Vitz and making them win uh, a, a cup as well as far as the championship is concerned is a major deal. And when your name, I mean, your name is currently attached to the two teams from Soweto, Orlando Pirates. Uh, I was speaking to Mazo Lamlif the other day and he was saying that definitely uh, that's where you're possibly going to be heading off to and then all of a sudden, boom, pops the team that Junior and I were talking about now, which is Kinds of Chiefs. So here again is another team uh, that might be needing a coach pretty soon at Kinds of Chiefs. I mean, you've ever imagined yourself coaching one of those two teams? You know, I've been obviously the longest, I think I'm the longest serving in South Africa, but no, never. Um, you know, the, they've obviously got coaches there. So, I mean, it's, it's very... I would say it's not easy to read the media every day and you see your name being thrown around left, right and centers. That doesn't, you know, it's until, you know, it's, it's not very nice. But anyway, I mean, if I was a coach of that club uh, and, and, and somebody else's name has been thrown around, it doesn't, doesn't sit well with me. But it's not certainly not my doing. It's not me, you know, out there. Um, obviously, those, those clubs know what the situation is, if there is anything available. But, but for me, they've both done very well. The guy, I mean, unbelievable Kaiser Chiefs. You know, with that squad of players to come go to the last half of, the, of a season. Um, and on the other side, I mean, Orlando Pirates, brilliant. You know, I think he's coming and gone more than two points a game. Now, if you do more than two points a game in South Africa, you're going to win the league, you know. So, you've done great. So, maybe they don't, maybe there's no reason to change. I don't, maybe there's no reason, you know. But Gavin, I mean, surely, again, and I'll, I'll get Junior's comments in a second. It, it would seem strange, though, like you say, long, longest serving. Um, I remember, again, I mean, we're going to be chatting to Benny McCarthy in just a short while, all the way up in Scotland. Um, and, and, and he was the one player uh, that you were able at seven stars to give an opportunity to come through and play. And uh, you went through one of the longest unbeaten spells ever. You came to Swallows. Ironically, they're a team that has just earned themselves a promotion into the uh, Premiership right now. But you were able to win with them the APSA Cup, when it was still known as the APSA Cup as well. Now, never out of top six. Never, never out of top six. Five years. The supporters chased me out of there. Yeah, yeah. That is crazy, <laughs> though, because uh, I, yeah, mean, I, yeah. I know that there were... I told, the, yeah? I told those supporters, you're going to miss me one day. And they got relegated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they checked you out after having to improve yourself from, as a coach. I remember you used to leave uh, Father and Porsche behind while you dash under, across was, to the uh, UK. Under and, the, I was under the, hey? the kit, under the kit bag in the kit man's car with the that they couldn't see me when I left the stadiums, yeah. yeah. That, you, you know, the, the, the thing that I want your honesty on, though, Kevin, is so many times people have talked about you potentially being a Bafana Bafana coach. It's never happened. Um, I think a couple of years ago, maybe before Stuart Baxter went to Kaiser Chiefs, uh, your name was being touted as going to Nigeria. That never happened. And now Orlando Pirates is being thrown into the mix. Do you feel that somehow the analysis around how a Gavin Hunt structured team plays football has maybe led to people not having that faith in you to say, okay, cool, come and take over this job. 100%, Rob, 100%. Um, you, you get labeled, uh, you know, every year for the last 30 years, I get labeled as a, this style of football or that style of football. I've never, I've never, it's, it's absolute, you know, you can play the best style if you've got if you've got if you've got the players, you can play whatever you want. But if you don't have the players, you've got to get results. So, you know, it's like people criticizing the guys that chief style this year. I hear that all the time. But look look at the players. He has to play according to the players' strengths. And he almost won the league. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people people must it's gotta you see when you play professional football, if you want to play in the park on a Sunday morning, then you can have style. But if you want to win, you need to have winning to win then you can into the style can come through um but you need the players rob it's no good i mean when i go to football clubs i say i want to play like uh, barcelona but i can't because i have to play with what you've got but i've also got a chairman on my back knowing that we need to produce results so you know as a professional football coach people have got to understand that yes we all want to play pep guardiola beautiful football 
but he can spend a hundred million on a player. I'm spending ten rand on a well, I can't get it, I can't spend a cent. I've got to find a player, a youngster, or get somebody free or mm. and so your style, that's how it is. And you don't have there's no time. So I can hear what Junior says. You can criticize all day about style and this style and that style. But those coaches won't last five minutes. They'll be gone. Fired. Two games, three games, mm. gone. They'll lose. You know, we want to play out the back. I, I see the, the modern day coach, everybody wants to play out the back. But if you go press them and they lose the ball in the box and you lose 3-0, uh, you're not going to be playing out the back too much, my friend. You know? But that's... So the nature of the game is there's a fine balance. If you can spend loads of money and you can buy the players, very simple. Hmm. Makes it easier, that's for sure. But if you haven't, you have to... Like at Swallows, we are either sell players at Swallows to survive, you know, to pay my salary or pay the player's salary. So we were selling players to Sundowns and Supersport. I saw Lunga signing the Glela. We found him in Tembisa, uh, sold him, got him for free. One year later, sold him for 1.5 million rand, it paid the salaries. So, yeah, it was, was he the style? Oh, he's a big tall boy, you're playing big long balls, blah, blah, blah. But we won, we sold, made money, you know, so there's a fine line, there's a fine line, there's a fine line. Yeah, I mean, let, let's, let's bring Junior in here because at the end of the day, isn't that part of the argument to say, what what do you need? Here are, are two teams that have gone five or six years talking about Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs without winning silverware, and 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 that is that is again a detriment to the uh, to the monies that these teams mm -hmm. have, to the personnel that they do have, to the fan base that they do have, and they talk to and who support them in reverse, and then you get coaches. You know, we talk about uh, Gavin, who, whether he's coaching at Supersport or coaching at uh, Bitvez Vitz, is able to get trophies, was able to get trophies at Morocco Swallows. And as it says, six, top six, back-to-back -back seasons. They were never out of the top six. Again, how, how then do you manage to match that? Give him a budget to buy the players that he needs to coach maybe a Kaiser Chiefs or an Orlando Pirates and make that a success. Because, as you and I say, I baga win in Nick some fun. Yeah, uh even if you can bring coach Kevin Hunt, mm. uh, it's going to be difficult. Job again, short money. They, a lot of things has to be changed. It's true what the coach is. Lanya is support the coach Maizuchi. These chairmen, they are not patient. Mm. They are not patient. Mm. Uh, if you may check, uh, I was I, mean, I was a fan of Ulton on the CMA. at Pumfantin Celtics. The way he was playing, I was very excited. Right. Here he comes. Uh, he was signed cheaper, and then he was given a mandate. So the question I was asking, who is the kid? I'm a resources. I'm mm. a I'm a resources. Are there enough resources? Or, and I'm a player, I suit this style of play. Sack. How long is it going to take? Because he was left with only seven games. Right. So they said, you must make us save for relocation. So you're saving the team, we are Lapa, under pressure. The coaches, the chairman, you know, has it's been firing so many coaches. Mm. If you go there, you're under pressure. Agnama resources are enough. And then you're telling the team, the, the, the coach would take safe relocation. Mm. Uh, it, it's very tough. You understand? Mm. Uh, that's why I'm saying uh, I understand the coach who gave an to which we are going mm. Definitely for him. I'm not, I mean, honest, I will, be fair, I will be fair and straightforward. I'm not a fan of Ipola Uksha Pamil. Sure. You understand? Yeah. But the uh, Njoba Ibega and Nati, they put the pressure on them. But mm. as a, a South African coach, I mean, I'm mm. going to say, we don't have to, uh, to forget to the Baze tini njela yetu, agmela nga sishinchwe ila bantu laba European coaches. Uguti medes kale nge njela zaba. In Brazil, you see, for us in Brazil, it's the same. But the development of Brazil is very, very, by the time development is very serious. At the early age, six years in Brazil, they take, you know, coach can tell you. And it's a strong point out. Yeah. At the young age, they produce superstars. 100%. But then again, the national team, I always say that is a, is a mirror image of what uh, the country has to offer. And you and I can agree that uh, Brazil, when they lost their number one spots as far as the FIFA rankings are concerned, they lost, I mean, when they were hosting the World Cup, they were being humiliated right in their own backyard, and yet they had this brilliant Brazilian type of football. But the structures were different. The Carlos Alberto Pereira type of football was no longer there and they needed to change something. They're still trying to find their way to get into that beautiful uh, style. So the Germanys of this world start to take over. Let me just take a couple of the uh, comments that are coming through, and they're coming through thick and fast, whether it is on YouTube. Um, Oman Jazita says that, uh, my brother, uh, yo, okay, these things are going so fast. It says, Gavin, please submit uh, your CV to Naturina. Um, 
And then Utebocho Matupi says that I'm happy to see Junior Kanye uh, there. God is great. Of course, God is great. And Junior Kanye uh, has, has been with us here on Marawa TV from day one. Um, and, and that is why we always appreciate his input and the fact that he's as honest as he can be, uh, etc. Um, Victor Matloa says that Hunter's got a point. Beautiful football doesn't win you games or cups. Check how Portugal have been able to win things like the Euros. It's, it's back to your point again, Junior, to say, how do you marry that? Because what, what Gavin is bringing forward is not thumbsunk. This is one of the most qualified coaches that we've had. The results speak for themselves. How you make that work by, number one, allowing him to get the players that he wants, going back into the so-called culture of the football team, which is Kaiser Chiefs or Orlando Pirates in this example. How would he manage to do that? I mean, if you were, for example, assisting him and you were Gavin's assistant, how would you advise him to go about that? Yeah, uh, Mr. Simon is playing beautiful football since the day one. At Downs, Jobang Isho, it doesn't come overnight. Mm -hmm. Mr. Simon had to be patient. First right. season almost had relegation. Mm. Relegated. But the chairman had to put the faith. Mm. He's a South African coach, and then he had to appoint a technical team, a right. similar like him. Then he development structure, Sabo, he development, it's very, very strong. If you can check his same, philo same philosophy, he has seen aside. Kunabo, Jobang Ishabo, Semba, Talapa, Abu Mandamazibu. We understand the coaches that they are same at Babuya School of Excellence. So, Uba patient, Redman, to be patient. You, understand, you don't have to put pressure. I understand, yes, the coach is saying that uh, you are gone. We understand, but mm -hmm. you need a chairman like our Petru, Mr. Petrus Motsip. I was a patient, believe in South African coaches. Mm -hmm. That the Bamni, look now, they're happy. They're winning back to back. You know why? If the Mao Shincha every year, Mr. Simon doesn't make so many changes, mm -hmm. he, he keeps the core. Mm -hmm. Players who understand. And when you are appointed Sundowns, you can be Andy Le Chal, I mean, he's one of my favorite players in South Africa. He was Port Pirates, one of the superstars. He went to Belgium. Mm -hmm. He came back. He said two years without playing. But I'm understanding this. We wanted mm -hmm. to play this way. This yeah. is how we play. I mean, you look at a Kermit Erasmus, the fact that Kermit Erasmus now uh, can be in the top 10 of the top goal scorers in, in the Premier Soccer League as well is testimony to a player, again, Junior, who for an entire year did not kick a ball and then Cape Town City brought him in when Benny McCarthy was there and started playing football all over again. All right, Gavin, let me come back to you as we start to wrap things up here with you how long are you going to give yourself up until a decision is made remember october is around the corner uh, the seasons are already about to start uh, there's just the cup final that is left and then there's the playoff issues that are going to be happening are you giving yourself a cutoff date it's, it's not my, rob it's not my decision yeah. i'm 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 here in south africa it's not my decision you know if somebody wants to start a project and uh, they feel I'm the guy for them, then obviously, then they need to, you know, my number, you know, it hasn't changed in 25 years. The first Vodacom phone. So I still got a Nokia, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's not my decision. Obviously, I would like to, the sooner the better, you know, then you can start working around what, you know, what you're going to do or a, a small mini pre-season because that's, it's not going to be a normal pre-season, mm. you know, over six, seven weeks. You can have a short period of time. So, obviously, as a South African coach, I know the fields, you know the players, you know the teams, you know the opposition. It does make it easier to go straight in. Where if you bring foreigners in, it takes time. So, you know, I'm here. It's not my decision. I've obviously like to work as straight as, you know, as soon as I can. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I can tell you now, although it hasn't been made official yet, that one of the uh, two top teams... In South Africa, when I say two top teams, I mean from a support base. Yes, Sundowns have shot up. They are the league champions. Talk about the traditional two is that earlier today, coach was shown the door. Whether that has already been signed and sealed and approved is another story. So already I can tell you that there is going to be a vacancy. I don't know which direction they're going to be taking in terms of moving forward. But I can bet my bottom dollar that a request or an instruction was given today for that coach to leave with the immediate effect. It could make news yeah, by the time we wake up you, in the morning. Yeah, you, that's, yeah, that's news to me. Yeah. Obviously, I don't know those things, you know. No, 100%. Um, and that's why I'm saying that. Yeah, I, would, uh, yeah. I, 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 don't, you know, I don't know those numbers. So as I say, Rob, it's not up to me. It's, mm. 
you know, obviously, you know, if, if somebody wants to, 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 to employ me, then, then, you know, and the project is right and the, and, and the situation is right, then we'll do it. You know? Absolutely, Gavin. Do enjoy the time off. And like we say, absolutely shambles as far as Bidwes Vitz is concerned. And we wish all the yeah, players yes. everything of the best. I mean, we'll, we'll have a conversation one of these days, I'm sure, when you are employed and you're wearing your new golf shirt with the new team's logo on it. And you're going to be sitting right here in the studio with us uh, back in Joburg. That's going to be for sure. Uh, but enjoy Cape Town yeah. for now. Have a good time. Uh, still Thank keep you. the social distancing like we're doing with Junior right here in studio. Uh, wear that mask, yeah. breathe the fresh air, and take it all in. But okay. thank you so much, man, for being a part of the show. Okay, Rob, all the best. Cheers. Cheers. Bye -bye. Uh, thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you so much, man. Uh, that's uh, Coach uh, Gavin Hunt uh, coming through uh, for us uh, all the way live from Cape Town and uh, just enjoying a little bit of a break uh, post uh, the lockdown. I call it the Red Ox bubble. That's the one more than a wee bubble. Uh, we, we took board down, and it's been tough for a number of teams as well. Yeah, we touched a lot on Kaiser Chiefs, but it would be unfair for us not to hail the success that has been Mamelodi Sundowns. Uh, people talk about La Decima, yes, stolen the word from the Spanish, but we're just talking about 10. We've got to acknowledge people like Rompo Kekan, seven, that has been able to win. We've got to acknowledge Abu Lebuhang Moboy, who was able to score a hat-trick. You know, the last time a hat-trick was scored at Sundowns was 2016. Anthony Lafour, we were talking about him now. He was the last guy to score a hat-trick back in those days. It, it's not easy to score a hat-trick. For whatever reason, people don't score hat-tricks uh, in the Premiership. We can't ignore stories like Abu Mahalwa. We can't ignore the fact that uh, Abu Kennedy Mwini can come in and, 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 and replace the number one goalkeeper on the African continent and still hold fort up until the end. On many different fronts, Baba, there's a success story there at Sundowns. It tells you, uh, Ilen Teng Ikunmai. Show me what I'm done. They had to build. Banen Zela, Bane Culture Abu, which is Abai Lasang. Ikochi Temai figure. Yati in Kalaning Nigay platform. Ya point about Tabazo Seven Zisana, Kushitin Abong and Elefanel. About eighty spark, a value. We understand that to it, it will meant to be strong. Good a combination, always they always report to him. I'm going to under pressure and get a twenty bridge. A now the COVID nineteen a lockdown. And then you bring under pressure, you one game behind Kaza Chiefs lead on a four point if you win, if you win, away win. You go by different way one point. And then you bring a development player. Mm. Mkuma promised one of the excited player, exciting players, staying in Davidson. Mm. I believe South Africa is still gonna see more. You bring umkulisi and Utalang Umdisha. Mm. From development, it tells you mm. <laughs> So Ilan Tungela on an iti. And then they keep on Nali came you clean at the one three. Look at the big nipple there. Pama Yama team, I know the instruction Nali came you clean. Mm. They will tell them to pump the ball up front. For who? Mm. They just ban in there by last. Like uh, Mr. Simon, he tells you a training yak yeah, session. Technical, the way they pass the ball and power, I mean, first half. South African, most many, I'm a team. Jobang is sure it can be picked team. They can't play off the ball. It tells Nali in the Uti. Oh, Mr. Simon, in Galila, no trump for me. No trump for me, I'm a Koso. Yeah. Mr. Simon, it works with the guy. Look at the guy now. But so in Jobang is your man, yeah. And then he was I when we would see and Kondai Shilu Mangobam Liti Mankulmana is all Ute as Lama Coach out three are strong and are powerful. Wonke, Abo, whether also Rolani or Mangoba of your Supito Ukon as head coach. Bang Amba Beoba, my head coach, I'm a team with PSL. Easy, no problem. But for Bona, would Bagwazi. Uksebans are together. Uzewa Shumangobati, as long as we don't deal with petty issues amongst ourselves, Simnand. Yeah. And that for me says a lot about a team, a believer, we teamwork. Yeah. Babesho, goalkeeper, coach, about corner by two. Mabe Kulumang, I'm a physio, get the blab. Mabe Kulumang, I'm a masio, get the blab. So it's a professional structure. Yeah. Very professional, Jobu Shokodman, but it's at this card. Yeah. Jobang, if you bonnie the Santos Giga Tengama player. Sure. Again, it was proven. Figure the coach he He bring Bapama, Tenga, my player, a contracted the Manama team with spending so much. We tell my figure, Mister Simon, to cut the budget. What in Ghana? Ning the team, me nang zoi lungi. San Jobu show gunen chele basa ben zisana ngai net. Maunga check it to chop well done. Me nang yugu tizoi win. San Downs, ngelugu isho kutman. 
they were patient. Gushku tingen telebe batala ngabe banga shinge. They could attack ngabe on kama engen. The first system of batala is four two three one. Yeah. Iya basuta because it depth yabo. Yeah. No mangabo batli. Mau batla. I pencil ngabo. Oga nyu shui take because. Guys, ngufunu buzan. Ngufunu buzan kona manje ngaba. Ngufunu uguaz from when you Le coach Enzo Kulmana, your next. We wanna go to the group. If Bazo Ibiza, like South Africa, is our coach. But let me go to Scotland right now, though, because Benny McCarthy is standing by. He's in the 18 area. Benny, good evening and welcome to Marawa Moments. Good evening, Robbie. How are you, my man? How are you doing, sir? Are you strong? I'm always strong, man. I'm always strong. Um, yeah. yeah, obviously, lockdown has been a nightmare. has been an absolute nightmare. But anyway, I'm still alive and I'm still here, so it's all good. Uh, How can I see you? <laughs> you? You're supposed to press something there, but I can see you wearing, is that your pirate's golf shirt? I wear my sugar. <laughs> <laughs> pirates ain't blue, my friend. This is blue. Is that blue? Are you sure? That's the away jersey. I'm positive. Positive blue. This is no pirates. No, no return back to pirates for you. It's just not a pirate shirt. It's just a normal, nice, plain golf golf shirt, but no pirates, no nothing, no nothing. What badge would you like to see on that golf shirt? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, I've, I've been with you for so many years. You think I don't know by now? Uh, it's an honest, innocent question. Benny, like, you can't have a plain golf shirt like that. I mean, it makes you look as useless as I am. And yet we know what a useful coach you are. What, what badge would you like to see there? Just let me know. I won't tell anybody else. At the, mom at the moment, I'm just a very normal citizen, citizen just enjoying life, you know, the mm. family, family life. But I'm itching. I'm itching, to be honest. I'm, hey, 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 this, hey, 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 hey. This lockdown has been a, an absolute nightmare, and it made you just realize you know how much you miss football and how much you miss just being a part of of games and on the touchline and mm. coaching so yeah so i'm i'm ready to go um i'm ready to go and if ever given the opportunity again and and i love that benny i love that about you because as honest as you always are when you say you're itching and I know how close you got to being given one of the top coaching positions in Scotland as well, uh, but it didn't happen in the end. Locally, people are dying to have you back in South Africa. We saw Cape Town City. Yeah, your former team, at least they managed to finish in the top eight. Uh, they finished sixth this season. I don't know how much you had been following about them and their exploits, etc. But people would love to have you back. Have you thought about coming back to South Africa? Yeah, of course. Like for me, obviously, my my first priority is always back home because I think, um, um, you know, the country needs fixing because we've got we're sitting on we're sitting on all on all the treasures in the world, but we don't know how to exploit it. Like the national team is suffering, and the league has improved so much. Um, teams are doing well, but but we can't seem to. We can't seem to to get it right when it comes to Bafana, you know. So, so I think when if you in coaching, you improve so many players. You, I was able to improve a lot of players at, at Cape Town City, mm -hmm. and it just boosts the national team's opportunity. So yeah, so um, I I want to get down and, and 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 get working again and get myself in because I do want to make a difference. I do want to help getting South Africa back to where they belong, you know, by that is by improving players. So when they do get to national levels, then, you know, we can be proud of our national team. So, yeah, I mean, we were chatting earlier on with the junior about talking about improving players uh, that a Kermit Erasmus landed on your lap. He hadn't been playing football for an entire year. You brought him into the fold. His confidence shot back up unbelievably sold Benny I don't know even know if you know but he is in the top five finished number five top goal scorer 13 goals and two assists this past season and I mean that is a story on its own on any other season he would have been top goal scorer had the Nukovic's of this world as well as the Cabadino Mangos etc not been around he would have been a top goal scorer 13 is an amazing return for someone who hadn't played football for over a year I think Kermit would be dis disappointed finishing as low as he did, you know, because I've worked with him. I know Kermit as, 
um, as a top professional, he always wants the best. He always wants to be better. He always wants to improve. And he shows you on training, you know. So for me, it's been an absolute delight to have been able to work with him. And, for, and it's just about understanding players, understanding mm -hmm. what's going in their heads, understanding where they are at the moment, and then just giving them, giving them that platform, giving them that confidence to go out there and, 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 and prove, you know, what, no matter what's happened, or what people said, you failed wherever else. It's about what you do right now. And that's how people remember you. And I think that's what, what Kermit took on board. And so did if most most players that I've coached, they took on board. You know, it's about what you what you want people to think of you right now in this moment while you're playing. And and that's and that all comes down to man management and understanding players. So mm. and 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 I'm for, and lucky for me. I was able to to do okay with that, you know, because yeah, it, it, it speaks for itself. But mm -hmm. I can't take credit for for what Kermit has done, you know. He's put in the hard yards, he's put in the work, and he knows his abilities. He knows what he has to do, and I still think he he, he can do far far better than what he did. But it's it's amazing for someone that hasn't played for that long, and it's just come in and and. And he's, he's, he's not looking back, so that's really good. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud and I'm happy for him, you know? Absolutely, Benny. And be as honest as you can be. Cape Town City was a great start for you. You brought in the excitement. I remember Mbombella Stadium being sold out when you were going to play against Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, there was always that edge. You brought something exciting where the rivalry out of a newborn team. Remember Mpumalanga Black Aces is what then uh, became uh, Cape Town City. So fairly new in the world, but you were able to give it stature. You were able to get into cup finals. You were able to win a cup as well. All I'm saying to you, if I gave you two options of where you'd want to coach, you'd want to coach Orlando Pirates, you'd want to coach Kaiser Chiefs one day, which of those two <laughs> would you want to coach? <laughs> Uh, Robbie, you make it so difficult. You don't make it so easy for anyone. Huh? But listen, I can tell you, um, as a kid growing up, obviously I've I've always been a chief. I've always been a chief supporter. So so yeah. So I've 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 I've, I've got um, there's a soft spot for Kaiser Chiefs in my heart because obviously that was the club that I supported as a kid. Together with Man United, those were my two loves mm -hmm. when it came to football. And then I had the privilege and honor to play for Orlando Pirates at the latter stages of my career, you know. And I've had an amazing, and I've had an amazing time there. And I've the team did exceptionally well, you know, um, under the circumstances, and we were able to win a treble. So, so two two of the greatest teams in South Africa, I've 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 been a part of one as a supporter and the other one that I've, that I've been fortunate enough to play for and two great teams. And I think any coach, mm -hmm. including coach Pizzo, if he's got an opportunity to, to manage, to have the choice to, to manage pirates or chiefs, you would, you would take it, you would take it in a heartbeat because yeah, you know, like South African football, is Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. Let's let's deal and with that. Let's deal with that quick heartbeat that you're talking about right now, uh, Benny, and understand that it comes from a very good place. We were chatting with Junior just now about the trio that's at Sundowns: Pitsom Simane, Mangoba Mngiti, as well as Coach Rulani Mkwen. All coaches that could be head coaches anywhere in the PSL. If you had a project together with somebody that you have had tutelage from, and that is Coach Gavin Hunt. They put Gavin as head coach, you come in as an assistant. Would you ever see a scenario like that and be comfortable with that working environment? So it's like you're trying to, you're trying to, to, to say to me, so Pep Guardiola and Mourinho work together. How's that going to work? Amen. You've answered my question. You've answered my question. Leave it right there. How's that going to work? Leave it right there. Absolutely. And, and that's the beauty about your honesty, is that you don't even have to expand on that. And I'm going to bring Junior in here. He's agreeing with you. And I love the fact that you're able to make that analogy between Pep 
as well as Mourinho. Mourinho being the man that won with you the UEFA Champions League at Porto. So we have absolute stamp of approval. He's honest with that one, and I love that about Benny. Yeah, he's he, a head coach. He's, he's telling the truth because yeah. uh, he, he bring uh, he, first of all he gave players a second chance. Mike Manyambela, he gave him while everybody be second right off, mm. and then he came with Rasmus, as you said, the guy with all his courtesy, they're not playing. He bring a uh, best out of the guy. Look at him now. Mm. And then Umchi to lay foundation. Yeah. The team, yes, is on the sixth spot, but the coach laid the foundation. I've seen Captain Speed, Abonata, uh, 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 we kept on seat, Babona Bonatata now, but energetic confidence is there. It's because of him. He's yeah. laid the foundation. Yeah. The coach of Figile Manja, Gubanga, to we, but in when you, he built a confidence. The life, no individual, they was, seven, they was, could have a player. He keep yeah. the best out of a player. You understand? Who told you to represent the Pegu came with Bazabam Bizan national team. So, yeah. You know what? We've come with the solution here, Benny, and I think uh, Junior is also up for this. If we had to do like a draft system within the NBA where we almost have to auction you uh, between these uh, two teams, would he be up for that? <laughs> well, I think if if those clubs were coachless, mm. then maybe I would say. But um, one I don't is going be to be Benny. One is going to by the time by the time you wake up um, by the time regard, you wake up one will be coaches, coachless. Yeah. Yeah, but but Robbie, you know, as as a professional, it's 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 it's, it's always hard. It's always tough when you. When Junior would be able to tell you, if you are a player in a team, a striker, mm. and you've had an okay season, okay, not maybe the standards, you know you can do better. Mm. And then there's a new striker coming. You know, as, as long as I'm not out the door, I have to respect the guy that's at that club. You understand? So so I can't just go and say, oh, yeah, I would love the opportunity or I would love to do and I would do this and I would do that because that's completely being disrespectful to, to, the, to the, the gentleman that's at the helms of those clubs, you know, unless they are without a job, the clubs have got it and the clubs are looking for new, for new coaches to bring in and they, they were in the process of working on that, then maybe I would say, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm available, I'm, you know, so then I would, I would love to have the opportunity to work there, but mm -hmm. as long as they have coaches, I don't want to be disrespectful and, and, and want to put my name or, or commenting on what I sh what should have been done and what should be done, you know, because when you're in that situation, it's completely different. So I don't want to, I don't want to pry on anybody's parade. So, Absolutely. you know, the Orlando Pirates coach, they seem like they're very happy. They've got mm -hmm. a good coach there and who's done well under the circumstances and Kaiser Chiefs by a stroke of genius luck that they were able to lose the league on the last day after after being top of the lock almost the whole season you know so they still a coach there so i don't want to i don't want to talk about teams that coaches who's got coaches yeah. there my man 100% absolutely true professional there benny um, I believe I've got all of, what, uh, 60 seconds there with you. But you, you do promise that when you land at Oar Tambo International Airport pretty soon, that I will have you here in studio to talk about your new journey. Will that be okay with you, sir? But I promised you when I left Cape Town City and we weren't, we weren't able to, to connect for me to come into the studio. And then obviously when I, when I set sails for Scotland, that... If I'm back in South Africa, or when I'm back in South Africa, you know, you, your platform would be the first one to, to, to see me in the studios. All right, Benny, thank you so much. I appreciate your honesty. I love your work. You're welcome, my brother. Stay strong. Keep those tattoos growing there. Keep them going. Cultivate <laughs> some more. <laughs> Thanks so much. Ciao, thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much there. Judy, a final comment from you. Yeah. He's bringing him in. Coach Kevin Hunt. It's like bringing Maureen and I. Yeah. No, no, Pep Cardiola. No yeah. It means a man's in oil. I'll be honest. In Guns is a two. Songs I'm with he coaches honest to himself. Mm. If uh, they are different in terms of philosophical. Sure. The way by approaching him. 
they are very different. Mm. So upe, u, u, coach Upen is very honest. I know Kevin, I respect him. Mm. The profile tells a lot. Mm. But when I came... So I'm going to say, Upen, this Pelelo is cut. Where would you put Ben? L l okay, coaches that are coaching, one, we are allowed to speculate. Yeah. Mina, Where would you put him? I love Mr. Mm. Coach Upen, I'm going to say, 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 Thank you so much for being part of this uh, team. Thank you so much for having faith and confidence in doing what we do right here on Marawa TV. Until next time, until Junior calls it, it is not a call. If someone doesn't listen to Junior, that is a big, big problem. They don't understand football. Keep those comments coming through. Thank you so much. The interaction on YouTube has been amazing. I don't even know what to say. Let's get out of here.